Was Bathra seen? No. No one was seen in the bathroom. Good. Now we've confirmed that, except for one location, Bathra does not exist in any place inside the guest room. Give that a rest. Just where is this one exception? A coffin. It should have been a Bathra's coffin, that is. Ashes to ashes, the dead to their coffins. You'll try to trap me in this room, right? Okay. Let's have it. Blue Truth, you did not vanish from this room. You just hid yourself to make it seem as though you disappeared from a closed room. The place you are hiding is the one exception that I haven't investigated yet. This is the one exception. The walk-in closet next to the entrance. Yes, it is here. There are no places to which to hide other than this. You are now hiding in here. What do you say about the sun? Have you been struck through the chest for a little literal smothered mate? Batra son. It's our move now. Yeah. I thought it would be like that, Erica. You intentionally left one spot open so you could stuff me into that coffin. It's the same move that trapped Kinzo in Atsui's room. I saw this move coming. Oh. Did you? Then let's see your response. But let me make a prediction. Let's hear it. I'll checkmate you in just two moves from now. That's my prediction. Then I'll make the same prediction. I'll checkmate you in just two moves. Sounds interesting. These predictions contradict each other. Who will be the liar, I want? Then go. It is your turn. It's useless. Your lowly coffin won't be able to trap Batrasan. Here's my response. This is my response to your Batras hiding in the closet. Take this. Ushidomiya Batara does not exist within the guest room. There are no exceptions, including the coffin. Pause it. You see, so he hid in the closet at first, and then slipped out of the room while Erica was occupied by the shower. It's the same technique he used to let Kinzo escape from the study in the last game. Distract the observation of the observer, and disappear into the darkness. Good. Yeah, I'm sure you aren't. I'd already foreseen that move. a retroactive move. This occurs back in the very beginning, right after I broke the seals and entered this room. At that time, I immediately closed the door, reset the chain, and sealed this room. Objection. Go to sever the chain back when the crime was first discovered. 
Since the chain lock is not functioning, it is impossible to use it to create a seal. Objection overruled. Erica repaired the chain lock. See? Impossible! How could she have repaired a brass chain? It is possible to repair. Have you forgotten, Beato? The duct tape seals. Erica used that duct tape to join the two cut ends of the chain together, sealing them. In other words, the chain was repaired by the duct tape, and this room once again became a closed room locked from the inside. Uh, objection! Erica-san has already used up her duct tape seals, hasn't she? She shouldn't be able to use them anymore. Objection overruled. The use of the duct tape wasn't limited by the number of strips, right? It was by the number of rooms. The only restriction was to limit it to only three rooms. Erica chose this guest room to be one of those rooms. So, Erica has the right to seal as many places as many times as she wants within this room. Uh, that's right. I gave her permission to do that. This is what you get for your pride. Sympathy is the evil liquor that the proud are most fond of. So... With this retroactive move, I proclaim that the chain lock has been repaired by the duct tape seal and has rega regained its original functionality. <laughs> and has regained its original functionality. And thanks to that, I locked the room upon entering it and made this guest room a closed room from the inside once more. Die, Batida! Repeated. The lock created by the chain is currently intact. In that case, my choice is obvious. Batara-san, this guest room has already been restricted in many ways by the Red Truth due to its closed room nature. How do you plan on escaping from this? If only I could do something about the chain lock. If only... Even if we lose the fight in this room, there will still be chances left to us. We've still only started the second day, haven't we? We have plenty of time to reconstruct an impossible murder. No, that's not good. If I acknowledge that I've escaped from this room now, it's the same as acknowledging that I'm the culprit. If I back down from the fight in this room, 
It's the same as accepting my defeat in this game. Are you actually going to respond to her demand? Is there any way to escape without undoing the chain lock? There isn't! If you respond, you'll lose instantly from the logic error at this at the end. It's clear which choice we ought to make. Yeah, it's clear. No matter what move we choose, it'll turn for the worse, just as Erica wants. But it's horrible either way. I'd like to choose the move that has the biggest reward if we win. You're going to call even though you have no logic for escaping and no trump cards? You think you can accept her demand and win? My cards might be useless. However, with just one more card, they might become a straight, a straight, a flush. Or even a royal flush. If hell waits for me after both options... I'll take the one that I'll, that'll finish her off if I win. That's an insane move. Sometimes when madmen jump into the path of death, a miracle will occur. It's impossible! How, how could you escape this closed room without removing the chain? There's only one difference between heroes and madmen. It's whether they win or lose. I'll be looking forward to your big victory. So, Batsuda-san, let's have that second move that you predicted you would checkmate me on. Please give an answer to Lady Erica's demand. Will you respond, or will you refuse? This is my response, as predicted. On my second turn, you're through. Here it comes, Frudo. Erica! I will repeat it. The lock caused by the chain is intact. Is intact. <laughs> yeah, it sure would be cool if you could say that the chain lock was still set, wouldn't it? Don't you think that'd be cool? But do you know what they call a fool who's full of himself and jumps into the path of death just because it's cool? That's what we call them. <laughs> I file a motion for a logic error. That truth of yours just now has cut off your own logic. Please have the impartial referee make her judgment immediately. Great Lady Lambda Delta! Motion received. Lambda Delta. Does this make logical sense? For inspection, please. Motion received. 